Hi YouTube, this is Patrick and this is my review, uh, my video game review of Batman Arkham City, which I just finished the, um, a couple of days ago I finished the story mode um, of the game, uh, and I was a huge fan of the first one, uh, it was one of the first games I played on the PS3 when I got it, and uh, you know, I was really looking forward to this one, I get really hyped up, you know, understandably, because you would basically think they wouldn't, you know, screwed up. They got all the voice actors back. It's the same, you know, people. Um, you knew it was going to be an upgrade visually and all the the extra stuff and everything like that. Um, but uh, it, it was interesting to see if it was going to live up to the hype, and in my opinion, it did. Uh, it's not a perfect game, but uh, it did still live up to the hype. Actually, I thought uh, it's got a huge story mode and a lot of side missions. I was 100% through the story mode, but I was only 60% through the game when I was finished. Um, because there's that much left to do. Plus, there's like 480 Riddler trophies, which is just outrageous that there's that many things to get. And personally, I don't really care about the Riddler trophies. Um, if PS3 actually gave you something for getting trophies, um, you know, like you could get like free shit, or something like that, then yeah, maybe I would care, but, you know, it's not like the, the 360 with the achievement stuff, where you get, I think you get free, I don't even know, I think you get free stuff, whatever. Um, but I'm, in the first place, I'm kind of like the story mode kind of, like, player anyway, I don't care about all the uh, side stuff. I would do, I would get Riddler stuff and do side mission stuff if it was, like, on my way. Or if I could, like, complete something, like, you know, then and now, basically. Um... Even if it was distracting from the story mode, I could complete, like, this side mission, you know, and get it over with. Um, just to get something, like, completed for the game, depending on how early it was. Which I did that a lot, actually, early. During the story mode, I played a lot of the side missions early. But then the story mode kind of sucked me in a little bit more later on, and I was able to just kind of go straight forward with that. Um, but actually, speaking of the story mode, that that's my biggest criticism of the game, is that it's... I didn't think it was as good as the first, as far as the story went. The first game's got a very easy, um, like, narrow-minded, like, story where it's just, it's the Joker in Arkham Asylum. You know, you, yeah, the Scarecrow shows up in, like, a couple of, like, really awesome parts, and you have that going on, which is great, but, um, you, like, if you went to the sewers and that, then you saw, like, the killer, like, Croc or whatever, it wasn't like this one, where they crammed every single possible villain they could cram in. Um, which was almost like it was almost it was too much of a good thing, basically. Um, to the point where if you played this game once a week, um, like one like part of the story mode a week, it would almost be like watching the animated series. Um, which, come to think of it, is not a, a bad thing at all. But uh, but still, it was just almost like too much, too much going on. Uh, and it wasn't a bad story mode, but it just because of it being, like, too ambitious, I, I thought it was just wasn't as, um, as, like, crisp, I guess, as the first one, if that makes sense. Um, the side missions also, you know, again, they're fun, and they, those were okay to, like, cram in, like, other, like, villains and stuff like that. Um, and they did a really, really, like, smart one with, uh, Mad Hatter that I thought was, like, um up on the par, up on par with, like, the Scarecrow stuff in the first game, where, um, it kind of blindsided you, uh, not to mention something during, uh, taking down Penguin actually made me jump, like, the first game made me jump a little bit when I was playing, you know, what are you gonna do, um, but yeah, it, uh, otherwise, like I said, the story mode, not as good as the first one, but I'm not, Look, I said too much of a good thing, and I, I didn't mean that. It, it it is a good. It's a good thing. Uh, still, um, although I will say they gotta figure out how to do a boss battle a little bit better. Not uh, the boss battles through the game, because the fights with uh, Penguin and especially Mister uh, Mister Freeze and everything like that were really really good. But the last one, I always thought the biggest problem with the first game was the very last fight with the Joker was just kind of not, you know, it wasn't everything that it could have been. And the same thing this one. Same thing with this one. I'm not going to spoil who you fight at the end, but, like, still, it was just like, oh, that's it? Okay. Um, 
So they got to maybe work on that when they do a third one. Oops. When they do a uh, a third one, which I don't know if they're going to be able to do because they're not going to have Mark Hamill anymore. Uh, so, I mean, I guess they they introduced so many damn villains in this one that I guess they could do it. But uh, but anyway, uh, the visuals. Speaking of the Hamill, the voice work was still top notch. The visuals were better than the first game. Uh, which you expect. Everything was just more expanded. Every, you know, all the gadgets and everything like that were, you know, fantastic. The little throwing the, uh, the little freeze things into the water and landing all of them, um, while at first was annoying when you had to do it, uh, during the story mode. That was, that was aggravating just for me. Um, but otherwise, otherwise, uh, everything else is, you know, it was just, it was good. It was good. Um, also particularly funny sitting around listening to like the thugs like randomly talk was actually really good really really funny uh so they did a hell of a job on all that stuff um i know i feel like i've been more negative on the game than positive and i don't mean to be uh i'd give this game like a nine just like the first one and i'd say overall it is a better game than the first one um but the things i expected that what's a little disappointing is it's not as better overall than the first game as i thought it was gonna be um like I said, I'm giving both a 9. I was hoping to give this one a 10, but it's a 9. Um, yeah, any, uh, anyone want to borrow it? Because I'm done. Okay. Alright, see you guys.